Active Campaign, Active Member 360. In this video, we're going to talk about setting up a drip automation for Active Campaign, Active Member 360 that applies a tag on a, let's say, a weekly basis so that your contacts have access to their content over time, not immediately. Now, here's how it looks it's going to be you're going to set a wait state, add the tag have a goal for that specific tag, and then repeat for the number of days, weeks, whatever that you want this to occur. It's important that the goal comes after the tag's applied, um, and also customers can get pulled out and re-added back into exactly where they left off. So let's dive in. Okay, inside your active campaign account, we're gonna create an automation, we're just gonna call it drip. We're gonna create some tags based on how frequently we want to uh, deliver content and then we're also going to have a tag that will pull them out should they no longer be a member or have access so to start with let's make up three tags week one week two week three and then here's a tag inactive so in other words if they're no longer allowed to have access this is the tag that's going to be used to pull them out. So we've got those four tags to work with. Let's go ahead and create an automation. We're going to call it just simply drip. And I'm not going to use an automation to trigger this. You can if you want. The assumption is that you will put them in somehow, typically if they make a purchase, hopefully automatically. And we're going to make this active. So the first thing to do is let's make the assumption every seven days we want them to have access to something. And I'm going to actually give them uh, their first week basically immediately. So I want to apply a tag at this point. So for contacts, we're going to add a tag. This will be the week one tag. Okay, now we start the wait state. And actually, you know, just for fun, let's, this is actually what we need to do is put in a goal. And it's going to be called week one. Click to add the goal. And it's whenever they have a tag, week one, they've met that goal. Let me just rename this slightly just to make it look like everything else. So that might seem redundant, and it kind of is. Once you apply the tag, hey, they met this goal, great. Now the reason we're doing that is if they ever re-entered, they're gonna skip down to this point and move forward. So now let's put a wait state in, and we're gonna do one week or seven days. And at that point, we're going to add a tag. This will be week two. And guess what? We are going to add another goal. So at this point, we've got the automation set up to deliver uh, or to allow access on a weekly basis. So immediately they get the week one tag. There's a goal that says if they have it, they get pulled through here, they pass through, wait for seven days. Then you apply the week two tag and you set a goal for week two tag being applied. And then finally th wait another seven days, week three tag and set a goal for that. Now. We could also, of course, send out an email whenever you've applied a tag. So if you do want to do that, I would then put it after the goal.
So you could repeat that, even that same email, because it's generic, after every time a tag and goal occurrence happens. Send out an email that says, hey, here's your access for the content that you've signed up for. And then finally, we're going to apply, uh, we're going to set another goal here. So this is if they're no longer at, have access to the content. We basically want to check for that tag. I think I called it customer inactive. So the assumption is that if uh, that tag is applied, they no longer have access and you want to remove them from this automation. So going through this one more time, somebody gets added, typically through a purchase. You apply the week one tag that they meet the goal for that. You send out the email and that tag gives them access to a certain amount of content inside WordPress using Active Member 360. You wait seven days, you send out, the, you apply the next team tag, they hit this goal, etc. Now, let's say they go inactive after week two. So they've got the week two tag, and then they get pulled out, they're no longer active, but let's say they rejoin and they get put right back in here where they're gonna skip over all these other things and stop at goal two. And they're gonna get this email again, and then from there they'll continue on with their access. So that's how you get Active Campaign and Active Member 360 to drip content automatically through an automation.